structures. But the critical thing is, we can still do it with something else. There's more and more evidence that small, weak forces can influence brain activity and alter consciousness. And we're about ready to go into this environment. It's called the communication age. Right now you're being inundated with all kinds of communication patterns, which if they're pulsed just right, well, I'll show you what they can do. The effectiveness and consequences of electromagnetic interactions with cells are functions of the complexity of the temporal structure of the fields. Remember, the brain works by chemistry, but it also works on the other side of the coin by electromagnetic patterns, right, brain waves. If you apply an appropriate temporal pattern, it's equivalent to the molecular structure of the compound. So, using the famous helmet studies that almost everybody knows, if you stimulate the patterns through the helmet, and here's an example of someone wearing the helmet, the Corin helmet, magnetic fields of various patterns being generated through the temporal lobe, because remember the temporal lobe is ultimately the source to many of these powerful psychedelic experiences. You end up with these kinds of experiences. People will invariably say, I felt the presence of something or somebody. In other words, here's a way of producing the altered state without the side effects of the drugs. There were pleasant vibrations moving through my body. As I felt, I felt as if I left my body or was detached from my body. The experiences did not come from my own mind, they came from somewhere else, that they were intruded, and I felt as if I were somewhere else. The same sequence that's associated with the psychedelic type drugs. And finally, to give you one example before we end, here's an example of a 25 year old male, both temporal lobes being stimulated. It takes about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, just like many drug effects, except you're stimulating, you're tickling the tail of the dragon with any kind of side effects. I felt as if there were a bright white light in front of me. So the person sitting in a chamber, blindfolded, weak magnetic fields, weaker than the ones from your hair dryer, very similar to the ones that you're exposed to when your face is in front of your computer screen, or when you have your Walkman on, or your MP3 player. Same kind of intensity, difference information. Person says, I felt as if there was a bright light in front of me. I saw a black spot that became a kind of funnel, no tunnel, that I felt drawn into. I felt moving, like spinning forward through it. I began to feel the presence of people, but I could not see them. They were along my sides. They were colorless, gray-looking people. I know I was in the chamber, but it was very real. I suddenly felt intense fear and felt ice cold. You can imagine what it would be if the person was sitting perhaps somewhere else, a less secure setting.